Hi, I'm Diane Dayton, and we're at the 20th Annual VF Outlet Burks Jazz Fest in Reading, Pennsylvania. And we're catching up right now with bassist Brian Bromberg. How are you, Brian? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. It's good to catch up with you again. We like to catch up with you here at the Fest. So let's talk this time about some things that you're passionate about. One of the things is the new CD. Yeah, Jimi well. Jimi Hendrix, right? I just finished, well, actually, I'm finishing it tomorrow, as a matter of fact. Uh, but all the recording's finished. It's a brand new... Um, CD is a Jimi Hendrix tribute, and it's for Japan initially. It's going to come out in the States, hopefully this year, maybe next year. Uh, and I didn't realize this when I did the record, but it's, this is the 40th year of his passing. Jimi Hendrix died 40 years ago in, uh, you know, from, f from now. 40 years ago from now? You know what I mean. Um, it's been a long day on the road, you know what I'm saying? Um, and it's, it was so much fun. I mean, even as a kid, I remember, because I was like 9 or 10 when he died, and I cried because I was a big, I was a Jimi Hendrix fan literally as a kid because I grew up, you know, listening to music my whole life. There was something about him that was so special and he just, he transcended so many things, race, culture, music, everything about him. He even played the guitar backwards. I mean, everything about him was different in a sense. And um, it was really fun for me to make the record and make it mine because he was such a brilliant artist. There's no way you could possibly emulate what he did. I didn't even try. And what's cool for me is that I'm a bass player. And even though I play a lot of the piccolo bass where all the guitar parts are actually me, so it sounds like guitar, but it's me on the bass, there's no way I could even come close to his brilliance or what he did, especially being a bass player, playing an instrument that kind of sounds like a guitar. So I went a different direction. And it's kind of, it, believe it or not, it, it kind of has a metal vibe to it. It's like if, if you're a Metallica fan, you'll like this record. If you're a Hendrix fan, you'll like this record. And if you're a Jazz Fusion fan, you'll like this record because there's so much improvisation. But the, the sound and the vibe is, is almost like a metal record, believe it or not. And it really works with his music. The, the, the record is about his music, not about him, his playing, you know, and his contribution musically. And it's, uh, it's just fun. It was really, really challenging and scared me to death. And it's really fun. I'm glad I did it. Very proud of it, actually. Pushed yourself on that one. I always do that. You know, I, 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 sometimes, especially with the Japanese, God bless them, you know, they always give me these projects or, you know, we'll, we'll do things mutually where they let me do something that I want to do, I do something that they want to do, and then we'll discuss them together. They always push me to do things, or the relationship pushes me to, pushes me to do things that I normally would not do, and you can't help but grow in that process. And, and I think that's one of my favorite things about working with them is, the, is that, and you evolve as a musician and as a person when you have to try to do something that's really hard or really challenging. You can't, you can't fill Jimi Hendrix's shoes. You have to find a way to fill your own in, in that vibe. And, and you, you become a better person and a player from it. So it, it was a great experience. Yeah. Yeah. It is what it is, the CD. Yeah, yeah. that's the most recent one here. And it's, uh, that's fun. It's doing well. You the band's it. fun. It's, uh, it's just it's funky. It's in your face. Live horn section. It's great. I, I love it. It's really fun. And you've got a new single to be released. Yeah, you? it just came out. Mr. Miller. Yeah. yeah. Cool. That's a lot of fun. Yeah. You've been doing a lot of other producing projects too, right? Yeah. I, I have a studio and I do a lot of production. Um, producing, what, what's coming up? I'm doing a great bass player by the name of Jeff Berlin. He's a legendary bass player. He's fantastic. And uh, a big project that I'm doing, which is truly going to be a, an honor for me, is Michelle Legrand, who's one of the most successful songwriters uh, in the world. I mean, his songs have been been in popular music and movies for the past 50, 60 years. And it's amazing. He's uh, um, he's a brilliant, I don't know about 60 years. I mean, he's 77, but he's he's been doing it since his 20s. He's a great jazz piano player, unbelievable composer and arranger. And uh, we've been friends for a long time. And we're doing a big um, concert at the MGM Grand. And it's a 66-piece orchestra, and all these stars are coming in to sing his songs, which everybody grew up with, and it's going to be cool. And then after that, he's going to come to L.A., and we're going to do the record. And it's truly going to be an honor to be able to work with somebody like that and have him in my studio is kind of neat, you know. Very excited about yeah, it. Yeah, it really is. What else are you passionate about, Brian? Um, cheese. Um, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, uh, what about, I mean, a lot. You know, you know me. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of all over the map, and, and I like that. I have a lot of varied interests. You know, I love music, obviously. I love people, and I love food, as you can tell. Um, just a lot of things, you know. Rescuing some animals has been the most recent thing. Saving some lives and getting some little furry buddies, which is awesome. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's been real. It's been, it's been a challenging period in ways, and it's been a wonderful period in ways, and. Um, I feel I'm the luckiest guy in the world because I get to make my music with people I really respect and play for people that actually seem to enjoy listening to it. And you can't, 
you can't get better than that. And, and whatever happens, happens. It, it doesn't matter. As long as I can survive doing what I'm doing, it's great. And it, that's why every time I get on stage, I smile. The band, we get along so well. It's the best band I've ever had. We have so much fun. And we just smile. I don't care how tough the travel is, how little sleep you get. When we get on stage, everybody smiles and has a good time. And it makes every minute worth it at that point. It's just great. Well, I know I've seen you with some of the people that have attended and been a part of base boot camp here mm -hmm. at the festival. And I see how they light up when you give them words of encouragement through all this. Mm -hmm. I mean, that does a lot for you, too. I mean... It, it does it tremendous amount because I would be nowhere if it wasn't for people giving me words of encouragement when I was young because I've had the opposite effect. I had some very well-known people who will remain nameless tell me when I was a kid that I should quit because I'd never amount to anything. Oh, you'll never make it. You'll never be a good player. You should think of doing something else. You know, things like that. I use that as fuel to inspire me because no one's going to tell me what I can or can't do. If you want to do something, you give it your heart and soul, you do it. And that's what I did. And... Um, if it wasn't for other people in my life that supported me and gave me the opportunity and the encouragement and the love and, and you know, to keep going and to following your dream, I couldn't have amounted to whatever I'm going to amount in my life. It's important for me to do the same thing for others. And kids, they're, hung, they're hungry for it, they're starving for it. It's great if you can inspire them to do that. Yeah. So it's, it's very important. Well, and you talk about love. And love is key, whether it's, you know, what we have as humans or as you were talking about with animals. Yeah, pets. it doesn't matter. It's love is love. And it's, it's, everybody wants to be loved. Everybody wants to love. Everybody wants to be happy. I don't care who you are, where you're from, what skin color you are, what religion you are. It doesn't matter. People still want to be happy. They want love. They want to feel good about themselves. They want to smile. They want to feel good. Everybody wants the same things in life, in, in life, you know. And um, we may have our differences, but we still want to have the same thing. So we all really want about the same things. Yeah, I think people just want to be happy. And they want to be happy with themselves or happy in their relationships or happy with their families. But most importantly, you want to be happy doing what you do. I don't care if you're a window washer. If you dig it, you can be just as happy doing that as you can playing music. It doesn't matter. You know, the bottom line is it doesn't matter what you do as long as you love doing it or love doing it with the people you're doing it with. A lot of people have jobs they can't stand, but the people that they do it with, they love. So they come in with a great attitude because of who you're working with. So I think that's the core of, all, of, of life in general. But in music, I mean, the thing about music is, is you are communicating good spirit and the camaraderie with the musicians on stage and to the audience and to me the audience is just as important as the musicians because they're giving it back it's totally give and take we might be up there physically playing but if the audience isn't giving us a love back forget it I'd rather go watch TV you want that give and take so it's that's the core of all of it and when you get a bunch of guys that love playing together it's the energy's great it's positive and then the people instantly respond to that you you've been to enough shows where when a band is having a problem or there's bad chemistry on stage or somebody's being whatever, the audience picks up on it and it's uncomfortable for everybody. You've also been to shows where the band's having a blast and the audience is having a blast. That, that's what it's about. That is what it's yeah. all about. Thanks for taking time with us. My pleasure. Thanks to be and here. sharing passions and talking about love and all these things that really are important to all of us. Absolutely. So what Thank we're, you. Yeah, what we're going to do right now, we're going to see you doing what you love. Uh -oh. making us happy, all right? Ah. <laughs> We're coming to you from the 20th Annual VF Outlet, Burke's Jazz Fest in Reading, Pennsylvania.